Today we have a dialogue with the Livestock Farmer Association, uh, basically in regards of the pork, the pig industry. Um, they have also sent a representative from the seller side. Um, today is also to discuss slightly about the recent statements that has came out in terms of the price increase. Um, what I've understood is that basically from the dialogue that the condition of the pig pricing should normalize within the within the year. It shouldn't take very long. It's more because of the dumpling festival that has seen a huge demand. Um, the seller side has also mentioned that they have not actually increased their pricing in terms of the pork sold. Uh, which was a bit uh, contradictory to what was issued in the press. Um, in terms of the pigs being slaughtered getting younger and younger, that case is also not happening really. In fact, in Johor, it has normalized to um, not slaughtering 80 kilograms, it's normalized to 105, things like that. But the main reason we have a dialogue today is to look into the pig industry, um, the way forward, and what is the current problem phase. As we all know, um, the <coughs> Ministry of um, Agriculture could uh, provide at federal level the necessary assistance or approval, but every state has its regulation and enactment in terms of the stipulated regulations that needs to be followed, the quotas, the licensing, and including in terms of their discharge levels. So each state differ, and in fact, um, it's not all states. For instance, in Penang, it's actually handled by the uh, municipal council, the local government. So there is a lot of differences in by states. And in terms of production, there was slightly a, a shortfall um, due to the fact of the genetics of the pigs. There have been a lot of uh, inbreeding. So the association themselves are also looking on bringing in some new breed of pigs in. And um, in terms of self-sufficiency within the country, um, it is actually reaching there, but there could be a gap for improvement because currently there are a lot of uncertainty which results in uh, most of the pig farmers not reinvesting or probably uh, investing a lot to improve their productivity and also to improve in terms of the, um, because there are still complaints on discharge, but this is something that is a chicken and egg thing because there is no certainty they couldn't really invest. So we are planning um, together with the Ketua Pangara to later go um, on a state by state, maybe to discuss with the state government to see whether there is any assistance that could be provided to try to provide some certainty within the industry. Um, we hope that this issue will not be politicized because it's more for the self-sufficiency and to reduce the um, necessity to import heavily. Of course, whether there is a requirement for import or not um, would be dependent on the pricing because we do not want to burden the consumers too much or so. We will be monitoring the price to see how is the pricing of the pork um, and its effect on the consumption side. In terms of the other main issue is development has caused quite a lot of problems in this industry whereby a pig farm can be located there for four years, 40 years ago and because development is reaching nearby them, they are required to move. Um, most people would still want to eat pork but in terms of livestock as a whole, the whole industry itself, whether it's chicken, uh, goat, cow, um, they are all facing this similar problem when there is enroachment of development, they are required to move away. So the, the state government should look into this by trying to come up with a place to ensure there is more certainty for, to give um, consumers also a competitive price in terms of food, at the same time more certainty for the industry. And this doesn't just affect the pig industry, it affects all livestock industry at this moment. Um, the other main pressing issue is on labour. Um, this does not also um, just confine to pig industry. It also includes uh, cows and chicken, poultry side. In terms of 
ability to look for workers that are committed to work. Um, they have been able to find local workers, but the tenure has been short, usually one to two months. After that, they leave. So there needs to be a more clarity in plan. And they themselves also realize that their sons also are not keen, or their sons or daughters are also not keen to go into this industry. So this clearly shows that there is a requirement for foreign labour if we want to continue with the 10 Malaysian plan to ensure we maintain self-sufficiency for most of the majority of food um, within the country. I think in terms of um, that, there is also a mention on the possibility of uh, looking for financing whereby they are currently also rejected by commercial banks. Um, well not just for the big industry, for the most livestock industry, they are usually rejected by the commercial banks. I think that for this issue, we would have to basically bring it up um, within the ministry to discuss what is the possibility into looking to help the livestock industry. Because um, as the Malaysian plan has stated, we are trying to make sure we could um, ensure self-sustainability for most of the food instead of importing. Um, they have also submitted a memorandum which we will uh, go through with them in detail on a later stage. Um, in terms of the pig population, since the JE times from uh, 2.4 million to currently 1.5 million standing pig population, there hasn't been um, any increase, it has been quite uh, stable. But the main bulk of the decrease is actually from Nagari Sembilan. So um, I'll probably be finding out for Nagari Sembilan what's happening with the status of the pig farming area which was actually approved and uh, if I'm not mistaken the land was also uh, I'm not sure whether it's gazetted but I understand the whole project was approved and there was phases divided into phase A and B and the abattoir was also ready so I will need to go and understand in terms of this part how is it going.